just something for the YouTube viewers, wherever you are. If some of us look quite damp, this is the one day in 2022 that it's rained in London. Yeah. yeah. And we've all got completely drenched. <laughs> I actually just spilled water down my front before I started recording. <laughs> Wales has the world's uh, biggest leech breeding farm for medical purposes. Like the vast majority of the world's leeches that are used in medicine. And they don't put that in the tourist information. <laughs> no, no, I think <laughs> Why they not? should. Why did they choose the dragon as their, like, country animal? <laughs> leech? Dragons don't even exist. Good point. And leech is much easier to draw. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a bit like a poo, though, on the flag. Yeah, you don't want that, If do you, you draw the serrated teeth and the slobbering fangs, I think it'll make clearer <laughs> yeah. that it's a leech yeah, I think yeah. on the flag. What do you that would... think? Because yeah, like, yeah. if you put eyes on a poo, it still looks like a poo, as emojis have showed us. That's true. That I think if you've got the leech latched into a human that's, vein, that's a great idea. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a nice logo and for a country. And maybe cut the back off it so that it just keeps sucking and the blood pours out of its <laughs> rectum. Why? Like, Why is it a severed leech? Well, that's what they do with leeches, isn't it? When you have blood sucking leeches, oh, yeah. if yeah. you're a, a guy from the 16th century or something, a doctor, yeah. you mm. put a leech on them and you cut the end off, and they just keep. Eating, I think so, because oh, wow. they don't know they're full. Yeah. And they are still used wow. a lot today. So I actually hadn't realised how widespread they are in plastic surgery, for instance. So there was a survey of 50 plastic surgery units in the UK, and 80% of them use leeches in the last five years. So true? it's very, it's common in what plastic they, surgery. In, in that scenario, what are they using they them for? They shoved them in, inside your boobs to make them bigger. <laughs> Just loads and loads of didn't realise that's what yeah, fake yeah. You can see them wriggling if yeah, you look yeah, closely yeah. at Posh Spice. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> can we say, has Posh Spice definitely had a boot? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah she, she admitted has. to it. She has, yeah. Okay. I'm, but I'm she, not what, necessarily... what she hasn't admitted is that it was a leech one. <laughs> Because they were fashionable in the 90s. I remember that. Yeah. Yes. Um, they are used for... Because they thin blood. Uh, so when they latch onto you to suck your blood, they thin it out so that they can suck as much of it as possible. Mm. So in surgery, it's very useful because often you get blood clots after surgery. And also, if you're reattaching limbs, so if your nose has fallen off and you need to have it reattached, it's quite common to use leeches to sort of connect the two bits to keep the blood flow going. Otherwise, your blood would just clot and mm. then you wouldn't they be able to get the blood flow. It. Yeah. yeah. As it's the pooling nose. in the area, they just remove it and it means that the new capillaries form neatly cool. between How the two. Amazing. They're amazing. Yeah. Um, let's do some other animals that eat blood. Uh, yeah. This is really cool. There's a spider called the Evarcha kulikivora, and it's uh, in you find it in East Africa. It's a type of jumping spider, and they basically they drink human blood, but via the medium of mosquitoes. And we think they drink it to make themselves sexier. Or it certainly does make them sexier. And so they're the, well, either they're the only animal to target prey based on what the prey has eaten. They target a mosquito not because they want to eat the mosquito, because they want to eat what the mosquito's eaten, mm. i.e. us. And we think it's because it makes them more fanciful. So if you get a jump, one of these jumping spiders that's had mosquito blood... Um, this is, is it like a sexy vampire, like from Twilight? Yeah, exactly. Um, and they're often very tall and... Um, Pale pale and all yes. those other sexy okay. things <laughs> that they are dead uh, dead <laughs> <laughs> but with very high libidos <laughs> so they wafted the smell of these spiders at each other and they'd take a spider that had just drunk uh, mosquito blood which would be our blood which would be our blood yep they took a spider that had just drunk that and then a spider that drunk something normal and a spider that hadn't drunk anything and then they wafted the smells of those spiders at other spiders of the opposite sex and they only fancy the ones who have drunk Ooh. the human blood wow I think they deserve a part in kind of vampire films yeah do you think it's a sort of like uh, i was talking to someone about a blood transfusion the other day and mm. she was saying that afterwards the the energy mm. this kind of revitalized she was like i felt like i was 20 again i was just yeah, like yeah. i wonder oh, if really? it i wonder if it gives the was it the queen yeah you were talking to? <laughs> <laughs> and she has lizard blood which is <laughs> rare, extremely yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. really get a kick off that if um, you ever see a big uh, vet's van being carried into driving into uh, Buckingham Palace because yeah. it contains the Komodo dragons that the Queen needs to eat. I don't know who's going to sue us first, Posh Spice or the even posher Queen. Queen never sues, podcast. so it's going to be Posh Spice. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> We're fine. Thanks for watching, guys. You can listen to the full episode right here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe for more fish-related clips and episodes, and you can join Club Fish for ad-free episodes and exclusive bonus content on Patreon and Apple Podcasts. Bye!